Hello brethren, you are once again welcome to this prayer channel. The aim of this channel is to boost your prayer life and increase your spiritual growth so that you can be more prayerful. We upload soul lifting contents from powerful men of God and the aim is simply to increase the Christian faith. We also upload regularly on this channel on daily basics just to keep your faith alive. If you are watching this and you have not subscribed, I beg you, do that right away. God bless you as you subscribe and also turn on your post notification bell to get a regular upload. God bless you. I want you to ask anything you are trusting God that within the next one week I didn't say one month I didn't say one year if you don't have the faith to believe it pray over someone else's issue but if you have the faith to believe and I'm speaking to our global family and the many we have a God that does not just hear prayer but answers prayer now I declare over you these Egyptians you see today by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. I think it was during Hallelujah Challenge I made this statement that God does not just hear prayer, He answers. There are men who can hear but they cannot answer. It takes power to answer. He says, our Lord God, thou hast created the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Listen, there are impossible situations you are about to speak over for the next one minute. What is that situation that has mocked God over your life, over your family? As you hear this worship just in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Don't be silent. Father, I bring before you this issue of concern. Give me rest roundabout. Go ahead and pray. He said, go round. You're going to do one prophetic instruction. He says, go round seven times. For you to go round means you must face the north. You must face the south. You must face the east. You must face the west. And he said, when you are done going round, let there be a shout called Tehila. It's a shout that brings down every wall. Are you ready? Now here's what you are going to do. Obey prophetic instructions. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask you, we're going to face the four directions prophetically. And for every direction you are going to shout, don't pray, just shout. There are, you will hear mysterious testimonies that will rise from this. Are you ready now? So the first is my direction. So that's where you are. It doesn't matter where you start from. The most important thing is we're going around. When I turn here, you turn here. Whether that is east or west, the most important thing is that you turn. The meaning of that is that for some of you, if where you are is not the right place, as you are turning, you are switching prophetically. Prophetically. Are you ready? Now hear me. When you turn, you, are, you will start facing me and Pastor Nat is going to blast that trumpet. When you hear the trumpet, that shout is a shout of victory. You are telling that wall, I am tired of watching you. It's time to go down. Financial walls, marital walls, walls of your health. Is there a believer ready to shout? So we are facing this direction. Pastor Nat, over to you. Go ahead. Go ahead and shout, 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 shout. Every wall before me, you fall like that before the ark. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Turn the next direction. Face this way. I tell you something is happening. I like you to see the walls of delay. 
the walls of retrogression, shame and reproach. As you hear that sound again, this time around I want you to shout seeing them go down. Are you ready now? Shout! Shout! Every wall, prophetically, every wall, every mountain, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Are you ready to turn this direction? I'll still be facing you because I'm directing you. That's right. You are supposed to back me prophetically. Shout. Shout. Prophetically. Shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, amen. Turn to this direction. Every mountain before Zerubbabel, it doesn't matter if it was there before you were born. If your father could not move it, your mother could not move it, it's time for that mountain to give way. Are you ready for that shout? Go ahead, sir. hear me this one last shout hear me when the grave opened for Jesus to come out the Bible says an angel rolled a stone and sat on it and he came out triumphantly this one is a resurrection shout resurrection means things that have died your finances your health i tell you there are creative miracles that will happen as you shout dead organs it doesn't matter what they are called hallelujah are you ready to shout you will shout you will jump whatever you have to do in the next one minute it looks like a crazy shout but it's a prophetic one someone who is tired of the grave someone who is tired of death are you ready to shout go ahead and shout go ahead and shout Go ahead and shout, rejoice, rejoice, a shout of victory, a shout of victory, a shout of victory, a shout of victory, victory in your spiritual life, victory in your prayer life, victory over delay, over shame, over reproach. We are going to shout seven hallelujah. And at the seventh shout, listen, this is an instruction that just came to me by the Spirit. You see, the way of the spiritual man, the Bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it is going, nor where it is coming. That is the pathway of one who is led by the Spirit. Many times God will give instructions that may not seem to make sense. But in the foolishness of the leadership of the Spirit is the breakthrough of the saints. Are we together now? The word hallelujah is broken in two. It's halal Yeshua. Praise the Lord. The Bible says praise ye the Lord to praise him in the firmament of his power. Every time you halal Yeshua, you will cause and compel according to scripture. It says, let God arise. The king rises with a shout. It says the shout of a king is in the midst of them. So the word hallelujah is not just a Christian chant. It is halal Yeshua. Do you know what it means to praise? To praise means to extol. To flaunt the quality of a man. That means when you say you are great, you are brilliant. It's like reading out the credential of that man. And the moment you begin to do that, you compel him to reproduce that thing again. So in saying hallelujah, 
is a prophetic chant that means anything good about God hallelujah suffices to say you are great hallelujah suffices to say you are the warrior hallelujah suffices to say you are the lion of the tribe of Judah everything that makes him God is captured in that word halal Yeshua we're going to shout it seven times and very quickly I want you to please bring those under the anointing I truly believe like it was in Jericho a city that was shot nothing went in nothing went out at the seventh time there was a shout and the Bible says the wall of Jericho it went down and it sank for someone at the end of this shout you will look and not find the things that that have stood as mountains for you again are you ready now I will call the number and you will shout hallelujah one Three, four, Beba Shalako Satebeleka, five, six. Are you ready now? Seven. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken in the name of Jesus every chain that has tied everyone here by the power that raised Christ from the dead be loose now be loose now be loose now I lose every chain. I lose every chain. Ancestral chains. Chains of darkness. Chains of limitation. I command be loose right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm declaring because that's what I saw in the spirit. Chains. I'm still saying it again. I don't know what has tied your hands a symbol of your productivity your feet a symbol of your motion but in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead that chain be broken right now that chain be broken right now be broken right now be broken right now be broken right now, be broken right now. Hallelujah. Listen. Every time your hands are bound and your feet is bound, even though you have eyes, you have a mind to think, you will not be able to make progress. I'm about to pray again. The binding of your hand and your feet is a prophetic statement because there are some of you you've been unable to move forward some of you have been unable to be productive I pray right now I don't know who I'm speaking to but I speak as one sent of God every spirit that has tied you everything that has bound you release them now release them now release them now release them now, release them now. in the name of Jesus I declare be released right now be released right now and every family that has been bound you came here bound not understanding what is the mystery behind the hardship and the occurrences in your family in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare you are released this moment you are released this moment. You are released this moment. 
You are released this moment. The Lord is asking me to break covenants. A covenant is a legal agreement that binds people and binds territories and binds families when it has to do with dominion over covenants that is the ministry of the blood the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel can i pray for you in the name of jesus any family here and any individual who is under covenants of ancestry covenants that lead to poverty covenants that bind people at the count of three i want you to shout jesus that fire will come upon you and that covenant must be broken are you ready one two three shout jesus be free by the blood of jesus help them please be free my god be free be free be free be free from every covenant every ordinance every covenant i say it again be free covenants are powerful they can tie men and tie destinies please bring them out demonic covenants holding people down listen whether you come from the north i'm still praying whether you come from the south can i tell you every territory has covenants regardless the territory i'm prophesying to you right now every territory that is connected to the soil of where you come from the apparacos that has tied down your life in the name of jesus christ by the blood of the eternal covenant let that covenant be broken now be broken now be broken now hear me i have taught you here how do you know the presence of a covenant the presence of a covenant is tested by the existence of patterns the existence of patterns it is happening to your brother it is happening to your sister it is happening to your father the moment you see a repetition of patterns i'm praying for someone again everything you have seen maybe with your father your mother it is now happening to you lack of progress lack of jobs barrenness unfruitfulness i declare let it break now 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 every covenant that is not of god i like you to shout this after me say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying my life tying my family by the blood it is broken now open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus christ oh it is broken Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus, broken by the blood of the eternal covenant, every negative covenant, covenants of disfavor, covenants of unfruitfulness, covenants of retrogression, it is broken. Someone pray. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. Spirits of ancestry, demonic manifestations in dreams. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now hear me. I want to take the time to pray for the sick. But can I tell you this? I said it, I don't know if it was last year or this year, that I saw an onslaught 
of sickness that God wants to restore the healing anointing again. And I'm going to do an impartation of that in the course of the service. But listen, whether you are sick or not, you are going to pray. And in this prayer, you are going to announce to the realm of the spirit that this body is touched not. Listen, I was having a discussion with our medical people whilst visiting them i think it was uh, day before yesterday and we we're just having discussions and you cannot imagine how many healthy people someone for instance can be aa and all of a sudden maybe preparing for marriage they can go for test and you will see another report and wonder where it came from can i tell you if you keep quiet over your body the devil will cut short your life someone shout it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost every planting of sickness and infirmity leave now open your mouth and pray every planting of infirmity every sickness go ahead and pray that devil must leave your body now Pray that cancer out. Pray that HIV out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray that arthritis out. Pray that blood disease out in the name of Jesus. Oh, I will not die. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. That blood infection, you leave this body. Migraines, you leave this body. Hepatitis. You leave this body. Someone is praying. Rheumatoid arthritis. Tumors. Growths. We cost you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know no matter how no matter how medically conscious you are there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know and then some of them are not a medical situation so you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine yet the patient is telling you i know that there is something wrong we are going to pray one more time before i begin to pray for the sick i don't know about you but the fullness of my days i will spend and no devil of darkness I don't care whether they say it's hereditary it came from your father your mother open your mouth and cast it out of your life ladies pray gentlemen pray no cancer no prostrate open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god it will not come not by age not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of jesus health is my portion in the name of jesus health is my portion the fullness of my days i fulfill Hallelujah. 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 I still want to pray. Now I want you to bring this set of people out to join these ones. I'm going to pray. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw written bad luck. You know what bad luck is? We call it bad luck. But in the kingdom, it is disfavor. But I saw the name bad luck. There are many people, it works for others until it gets to your turn. And mysteriously, I want to rebuke that spirit. Believe me, there is a spirit behind the circles of disfavor. It looks like things don't just work in your life. And I saw the power of God coming on many people. I decree and declare right now. 
if there is anybody some of you are standing in for the sake of your families any family here that is wept in this orchestration of disfavor we call it bad luck at the count of three let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come upon you one two three be delivered now i cause that spirit be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now that wicked spirit let it leave you now and even your families by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah you see as we sojourn in life as we sojourn in life I have taught you and I will teach you again and again the forces that are at work in your life negatively or positively that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life if you carry for instance the force of favor imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you and then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor imagine what happens to you it is not the physical occurrences they are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again bad luck that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online there are even people abroad you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free now be set free now be set free now hallelujah be set free now the Lord is showing me a family what I see in my vision I'm seeing five of you nobody has a job you are graduates no job who is that person I want to pray for you please make sure you hear the prophetic word don't just jump out listen attentively please come out I want to pray for you who is that come Graduates, five, no job. Huh? Five boys, no work, sir. Five boys, boys yes, sir. graduates, graduate, sir. No, job. no job. Where are you from? I'm from Quara State, sir. Quara State. Yes, sir. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Listen. There's power in the name of Jesus, so don't get used to pain. Believe me, there is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, you came with your certificate? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Look at this here, sir. I, I'm this, not getting you. This is my NYC certificate, sir. Oh, this is your NYC certificate. Look don't don't worry, my, my brother. God has located you. Now, you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, five people, graduates, and then no job because of how demonic the devil can be sitting on the destinies of people you think it is a coincidence let me use them as a point of contact to pray for someone here every spirit that has vowed that shame must remain with you in the name that is above all names as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you let that closed door be open now be open now help them be open now be open now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare by prophecy here supernatural jobs for you now you imagine watch this now imagine for instance this our dear brother five boys you imagine that you are the father or the mother now you've given birth to children let's assume you did not make the most with your own life you are hoping and trusting that in your lifetime that these children will become sons of consolation like the bible will call them five of them no job you may be saying apostle we are two even if you are the only one i declare in the name of jesus the son of the living god hear me by prophecy wherever your job is in this nation or around the world may my god locate you 
may my God locate you. Mama, may my God locate your children. And for all of you who have come out for this word, I stretch my hands and I declare the same way you have come out. That is how you will come and stand here to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, you have a brother who passes out. I don't know what they call it medically. Like the person is it's like fainting, but the person just passes out like that. Who is that person? I want to pray for you very quickly. Come. Where is he? Huh? He's in Jabi. I wanted him to come today, but he didn't come. He couldn't come. No I problem. You stand for him. He passes out. Yes, sir. How how frequent? So recently it happened five times in one day. I'm seeing a lady coming too. And then he bleeds from his mouth. And then he bleeds from his mouth. How about you, my dear? Discipler. He passes out. Your discipler. Yeah. I want to pray for you. When God reveals, it is because his power has gone ahead to bring an end to that tragedy. Remember, there was once a gentleman in the Bible who had suffered epilepsy. The Bible says he will fall in the midst of fire. Do you know what that means? Imagine if this person wants to cross the road and that demonic thing happens. You can lie down there in the junction. You see, the key to opening your heart in a meeting like this is to have a heart of sympathy and compassion. Don't wait. You have to put yourself in the shoes of others to feel what happens when God gives a prophetic word. Even if it is not a word for you, you know. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you, your disciple and your brother, using you both as points of contact for as many who are releasing their faith. I don't know what demonic walking is this that makes you or your loved ones to pass out. But by the blood of the eternal covenant, that tragedy, that occurrence comes to a permanent end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Comes to a permanent end now. Comes to a permanent end now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone... Um, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. You are a policeman, but this is tragedy over your family. It's like nothing is happening. I, 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 this is this is this is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me. You didn't wear your uniform to work, but you are a policeman. I don't know who that person is. If there is such a person, you are a policeman. Where are you from, sir? I am. I serve in Abuja here, but I'm from Benue State. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? I do. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Sir, the power of God is coming on you, this man, this officer. I'm seeing a spirit behind you. I know you are a policeman, but let me pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. This thing is not even just the spirit of tragedy. It's even the spirit of death. I decree and declare, sir, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be free from it right now. I'm seeing it again, the spirit of death. This man is a police officer. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Yeah. You are a police officer too? From where, sir? Kaduna State, sir. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? No, sir. There is a spirit from where you come from. Huh? And I know this and I agree because, respectfully speaking, this is not just... A regional thing this is not just from where you come from there are many other states that have that tragedy the person who rises up ends up dying is that true 
this is true yes, i need to pray for you because like this man i'm seeing the spirit of death i'm not a prophet of doom yes, that's why i said will you be embarrassed if i talk to you and this thing i'm seeing is like an armed robbery operation and then something happened and then like being shot or something i want to pray for you there is nothing you cannot do If you have said it, then you will do it. Ha. My friend, how long have you been in the police force? Two years, sir. Will you believe another thing if I tell you? Yes, sir. You are not going to be in the police force for too long. I'm seeing that God is, you are going to be a great entrepreneur. And God is, this is what I'm, please listen. Every prophecy I give you, is subject to your partnership with God but this is what I'm telling you go and write it you are going to do something that has not been done in your family I'm telling you this because now there's there's no profession there's nothing wrong with any profession but in your heart this is not really what you want to do huh and this is even affecting your productivity because you are just there and something is telling you do not feel bad you were there for a reason there are many times that god passes us through things if joseph did not get into the well and potiphar's house he would not appreciate sitting at the throne in the name of jesus i pray for you let the grace that lifts men let the grace that helps men rise may that grace rest upon you in the name of jesus and i pray for you you will not die you will not be a victim of tragedy by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i pray i'm hearing a name rosaline 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 i believe that's a female name rosaline is there someone with that name i just want to pray for you very quickly if there's someone rosaline who is that please if you are if you are the one, don't waste our time so that we'll pray quickly. Rosaline. That's your name? The name your parents gave you? Yes, sir. You're Rosaline too? I want to pray for you. Now, don't come out. I want to pray, but something surprising will happen now. There is a lady here. The spirit that follows you, only married men look for you. A responsible man who loves Jesus and is born again, it looks like there's something that always I'm not saying you should come out. You are not, these are not part of Rosaline, is what I'm calling now. This one I'm praying. But the power of God, wherever you are, this I'm seeing this. This lady, you have cried to God. You are a nice lady, and you have said, Lord, take away this reproach from my life. I'm praying right now. The anointing of the spirit, wherever you are, that anointing is locating you. The spirit that brings only married men who have no business coming to talk to you and they seem to come and bother you and disturb you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them. I declare right now that curse that is upon you, let it be broken. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Rosaline, let me pray for you. There's one of you, the Lord is taking away this thing about death again. One of you standing here, the power of God is coming on you. This is the manifestation of the spirit of death. Lord, in the name of Jesus, anyone here who has been trapped by this demonic manifestation, release them now. Release them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare upon you, you will not die. And everything that has kept your family bound, I am prophesying to you, Rosaline, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, go and excel. I release you to go and excel. In the name of Jesus. We we'll have to be very fast. There is, I'm seeing a gentleman here. This is a pattern that has happened. You never do well academically once. I'm seeing you have written Wayek. I'm seeing the number six. This is six times and you have still not made your papers. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that or maybe your brother or so? Please, let's hurry up. I'm, I'm only speaking because God himself is revealing this case 
to me and I have to obey and honor God else I would have just spoken over the person and then we continue why I'm seen six times you've written or is it someone related to you and you've not been able to make your paper at all this is a pattern it looks like your your siblings or people in your family they don't seem to be able to excel in one sitting whether the person is inside or outside um, if if for distance you cannot make it let me just know so I just speak a word and then we continue because I want to pray over the sick in the name of Jesus wherever that person is I stand by the God of heaven and I declare the next exam you write by the power of prophecy we push you to the other side of victory help them in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit right now out of him in the name of Jesus out of him right now from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same hold on hold on you are a businessman you are into construction materials who is that I need to pray for you I'm seeing a demonic spirit just hijacking your finances and the Lord is saying to release that person building construction of that sort please make sure you don't don't tell lies come out this is the house of God Jesus Christ is here who is that person I want to pray for you thank you for coming out i want to pray for you listen the lord calls like this because you cannot be empowered by the strength of the flesh one prophetic word you see can open a door of opportunities i know what prophecy can do remember i told you the forces that make the promises of god at work in our lives this world is too wicked to just depend on sentiments you can't sit down depending on the day i'm hoping that somebody who becomes a governor or a chairman house committee on something if he's my person he will help me that's a risk a, a very bad risk but let me pray for you i don't mean to embarrass you i'm only obeying god i will not call your name and i will not point you but there's one of you here i i pray that the mercy of god will speak over you um you have cheated people you have cheated people a lot you have done a lot of things you should not do and i need to pray the mercy of god for you you see if you want to do business we are believers do business with the integrity the the dignity of kingdom integrity this is what i'm seeing don't come and cheat and defraud people and do a lot of things cut corner a bag of cement is 10 naira you say it's 1000 and then you want the blessing of god god is not a herbalist the bible says that you lay iniquity far from you is that true and then you shall be built up you will lay gold as dust even the dust of offer now i'm not condemning you the lord just ministered to me but i want to pray for you i truly believe in supernatural empowerment empowerment by the spirit some of you for many years jobs have not come for you you have done all you need to do it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved sleep i stretch my hands over you god who has located you by the mercy of god i declare three months from now beginning from now march ending i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead between now and the next three months may god surprise you between now and the next three months i declare strange doors for you in the name of jesus christ supernatural doors by the spirit in the mighty name of jesus amen the whole world lieth in wickedness as chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him 
for God was with him for God was with him we are going to pray you have to convince yourself it's going to be a quick walk and we are going to cry to God and say Lord whatever I carry from my house whatever I carry from my place of work that I brought before you it should not return back with me it should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ it should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting I'd like you to talk to the Lord please be serious and be desperate Lord I have come to you I've come to you I've come to you I've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a god that answers prayer when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them it says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negative turn again our captivity there is a god that can turn around the captivity of men pray doesn't matter where you are seated doesn't matter where you are connecting from the power of God is able to save to the uttermost father I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night that financial situation must die this night that oppression that has kept my family down did the bible not say this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith A miracle walker, God is a glorious God. God is a miracle walker, God is a glorious. God is You're a miracle worker My God is God is He's a glorious God Glorious God God is God is He's a glorious God
We are going to pray shortly and I will begin to minister by the Spirit. Your own assignment is to receive. You have come. Let me tell you something. There is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you. Yours is to believe in the power of God. It says if you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring there's someone on this row. I'm seeing like like a smoke just going round. And it's like he's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please speak the person and bring the person out. You reign, you reign, hello, King. You reign, 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 you the lady from outside I cross the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I cross the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes, inside and outside. Bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I trust those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here, I speak by the hand of God. You reign, you reign, hello, bring them out. I'm still on that case. The power of God is still locating people. I'm still slave. In the name of Jesus, I'm still praying. We are not doing too many things tonight. We are going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits. And I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, 
overflow one two three across the road i'm declaring judgment judgment upon those spirits the fire of god is coming upon you right now whether you are standing for yourself or for your family bring them out there is no escape for when his voice comes they come out from their hiding place Thank you for watching today's ministration. And if you know that God has touched you, don't forget to testify. Send in your testimony and God will do more. Because what God cannot do does not exist. And you are next in line for a miracle. And if, if you have not received your miracle, please don't give up. God is still there, searching for whom to bless. He will touch you. God bless you.